All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to a brand new YouTube video. I'm sure by now you know the outcome of my meet. Um, I ended up bombing out, sadly. Um, but it happens to even the best of us, right? It's just a learning experience. I will leave this meet uh, with my head high. Now I got time to like kind of like process all my emotions and um, figure out a game plan for the future one. I'm, I'm gonna keep this experience positive. I'm not gonna take any of the negative. A lot of positive outcome that happened. I just know that I, it's not a strength issue. I have the strength to do way more, which is uh, what really, really motivates me now to literally craft something good on the platform for the next one. I know the strength is 100% there. I messed up on technical uh, deficiencies. Try to take um, all the negative aspects of an experience such as mine, which is like, you know, bombing is the worst thing that can happen to you and meet, and try to think of it like, okay, this happened, it's bad. What you need to do to improve, to avoid this situation for the future, right? You need to prevent it. So it's like, you gotta find anything you can when it comes to your training recovery and everything to make sure it won't happen again. So speaking of personal exp experiences, it took me like 10 meets to achieve, to be the first to do 700 pounds at 140. Again, this is just my second time trying to break a world record in the weight class above now, but we're already touching lows that are significantly higher than what I did just last year. I broke the world record in October, and now we're talking about like being the 800s, the weight class above. So it all happened very quickly, but again, I gotta be patient with myself because strength is not an issue there. I just gotta take my time, and I know I will get there. So no matter how many times I'm gonna have to fail, no matter how many struggles I'll have to face, I know that I will never give up and I will make it happen, mark my words. All right guys, so the clips that are gonna follow is gonna be my meet recap. You're gonna see what happened the day before and the day of. Enjoy. We're currently in Chicago and it's um, March 17th. We are competing tomorrow and the plan is to go and attempt to break the all-time world record in the uh, 75 kilo weight class, which is under 165 pounds. Um, we just weigh in today at 163, which is 74 kilo. All right, guys, let me show you something real quick. I put it in my bag. They sent me an unreleased prototype Gymshark singlet. It says, look at it, it says Gymshark here. I put it on and this is, this literally makes me feel like a superhero. So I'm super excited to break it in tomorrow. You can see, look, they have like, I don't know if you, like nice patterns like this. It's very smooth. It's breathable and it's stretchy. So I think it'll, it'll be one of the best singlet I've wore so far. I tried SBD, I tried Stoic, I tried all of them. Just this, this feels different and you also look very aesthetic. It's, it's nice on the shoulders, it makes your back look huge and it's tight around the quads. It doesn't move, it sticks well. You know, some of the singlets, sometimes they move too much. I'm excited to try it on. I guess you guys will see tomorrow on the clips and I'm sure when I wanna post content. Um, but this is not available yet on the website. This is a prototype, like I said. I'm here to try it out, and uh, hopefully, um, if this works, there, I know there, there are like other few athletes that are currently trying it out. If everybody likes it, then it'll be available for you guys on the website. Stay tuned for that. Okay, we're on the way to go get some food right now, guys. We're gonna go get some nice little burger, Shake Shack. We're gonna eat uh, a little different this time, because, I mean, there's not a lot of places around here, so I'm just gonna get some junk food. Do not do that. You should definitely stay on your diet stuff. I'm just not home, so I can't cook my beef, I can cook my rice, I can cook my turkey, I can have my eggs. We're definitely gonna have, probably go to a breakfast place tomorrow morning before the meat. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna get some um, burgers because I need it and we need to get, get as much carbs and calories and sodium as we can. <laughs> we got the burgers, we all set. We gotta eat more and more and more. We're probably gonna get two or three more meals from here. I need to find a healthy place that has rice and chicken, like a real protein. And I'm gonna stop by Target probably later on, and I'm gonna pick up all these essentials for tomorrow, which will be like a bunch of like snacks. I like snacking on gummies when I compete, because sometimes it's hard to eat, but you still need to get all the calories. I'm gonna get some uh, sodium, which is like, I use the Pedialyte's gallon of water. Usually what I do is I have a big breakfast, morning off, and then I go squat, and then between squat and bench, I have like a, a small, like a small meal, because you need, still need to replenish yourself for the bench press. 
And then the key is to not be too bloated for deadlifts. So you want to have a certain bloat on squats to have a nice brace, but then it's not good to be too bloated on deadlifts. You want to kind of be flat just because it helps you with your leverages because if you're too, you have too big of a bloat, you'll be too hunched over. I want to maximize my leverages as much as I can. So that's stuff, some stuff that you guys will learn over time, understanding your body, how it works. But yeah, like we're just gonna eat that food, enjoy it, and uh, we'll see what's going on after that. How's it going, guys? It's a uh, big day. It's morning of the comp. It's about 7.30, we just woke up. Uh, just took a shower, making sure we, everything is ready before we go and get some food. Uh, right now I'm just making sure I have all my gear ready. So I have a checklist, but uh, I guess I'll run through it with you guys. Um, so most important, my knee sleeves. So we got that out of the way. Got my knee sleeves. Okay, I have my ammonia here, so that's good. Two of my knee uh, wrist wraps, gangster wraps. That's what I use. Deadlift socks. Always make sure you have your deadlift socks. That's good. Uh, underwear with no sleeves. Again, we're going for a war record and powerlifting. When you go for a war record, they come and they check you. And if you have like regular underwear, they might take it away from you, like the record itself. So it's like, you gotta make sure either you're going commando mode, nothing or this, that's what's allowed. So boom. The super suit, Gymshark, uh, singlet. By the way, they sent another one and it came in a little box like this yesterday. They sent the second one, so yeah. Singlet, now we need uh, the comp t-shirt. And belt, my spidey shoes, boom. This is a wrestling shoes, custom made uh, for my feet. That was gear check. I feel good, I feel excited. We made it through the worst part of like just sitting around and waiting and urging to compete. So again, like I said, we're just gonna go eat some food, relax, and we're just gonna get ready and go downstairs right now. guys we're like one hour out from the competition we still haven't ate food we're gonna go downstairs see if they serve breakfast if they do that's perfect if not we'll just stop by anywhere to get like, like a little bit of food all i need is just my water my sodium and then a nice boat for a squat <clears throat> so apparently i was looking through the wrpf records and uh i'm actually number one spot for the squats right now in the 165 so I guess we're going for a national record today on squat two. Uh, last time I did it, I didn't know it was national record because um, I compare myself to other federation when it comes to that. Like the highest squat in the 75 was done by Taylor Atwood and he squatted like 666. Nice. Going for a national record, so that's exciting too. And then again, we're going for the world record, which again, I told you guys, that's his record, Taylor Atwood too. So I'm coming for you, Taylor, if you watch this. Oh, cool. oh. Oh, we finally made it to the venue, guys, or to the gym. Surge new levels somewhere right outside this Chicago city. Let's do it, yeah, let's do it. What's your name, man? I'm Adrian, man. Adrian, let's be nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's good, man? I fucking love your video. Can you sign my butt? Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Come here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare my pre. Can you say that? Prepare your pre. Yeah. Prepare your pre. <laughs> Which I'm not gonna take now. I'm probably gonna take it in like half an hour. Let's have the food in me. Two scoops of euphoria. Start your day right. You know what I mean. <laughs> if you don't have a funnel, you can literally create a funnel with just by pinching the edge of the scooper and tilt it forward. Like it's a life hack right now. I showed that to David, and he was like, no way. Literally pro tip right here. Life hack. Mm -hmm. Pinch. Yep, 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 yep. Boom, two scoops. So I got to start warming up when flight C goes. We can probably watch flight A, see the referees, see uh, how they do their calls, see if they're very strict today or not. Uh, and then I'm gonna just base my squad based on that because I don't wanna, you know, if they're very strict, then obviously I'm gonna go super low. 
if they're not very strict, I'm just going to give them what I need to get to get those wire lights, right? All right, guys, they're still on flight A. It's 9.43. They're on second attempt. So by the time they're done with thirds, I'm going to grab a foam roll, and I'm going to foam roll my back, do a little bit of stretching during flight B, move around a little bit so I'm loose. So when flight C comes, I'm already ready to be under the barbell. Hey, guys, if you didn't know, that this is Ed right here. All time or record in what? You have all times, uh, right? Or bench. In the bench. bench. Well, how much you raw. Classic rock. Can you tell them how much you bench press? Uh, 260 and a half. 260 and a half kilograms, guys. That's 575 pounds. At uh, what body weight? Uh, 220. This is insane. Can you sh shout yourself out? What's your IG? So uh, where people find you? It's Edward Blair 220. Edward Blair 220. There you go. Go check him out. But thank you. He's going to be handling me today. So I appreciate you for your help, man. Oh, for real, for real. Yep. All right. We'll get warmed up in a little bit. Guys, we already have the super suit on. Yeah. I know Nathaniel, Nathaniel Messiah from the UK just competed last week and he had he had one too. Jamal wore one, Jamal Browner had one for the meet he broke the all-time record deadlift when he pulled 1003. He had the singlet. But um, yeah, I'm excited to break in that bad boy today and represent Jim Shark. Show how good we are. When I foam roll, I usually foam roll my lower back. I try to get my lat, my terry right here, cross my arms. Then I, I did my glute already, both glutes. What I can do is foam roll the feet because it's the most important. When I foam roll my feet, I feel more blood going through my feet. It's easier to like stay rooted and planted. But this is the key right here, foam rolling your toes. Every time I don't, I feel like weaker for some reason. I don't know if it's a mind thing, but I think it's working. Tomorrow it will Alright guys, we're done with squats, so let me give you a quick recap. Everything went as expected. We ended up hitting 250 kilos, which is 551 pounds. On our second attempt, like I said, we opened 227.5, 501, and then we jumped straight to 551. That was the right call. It moved good, and I saved a little bit of energy. Felt like I had an extra 10 kilos in me, so I'm glad we saved all that energy. Now it's just time to like recomp, eat one meal before bench. I'm gonna try to stay away from all the people that's that are inside and just like try to focus on and log back in. The 551 squat is already out of the way, uh, and I'm glad it moved very well. And also, I think it was a WRPF national record. So, but yeah, squat moved good. On to bench now. <laughs> Okay. No, feels all right, feels good. All we have to take now is 100 kilo, which is the yellow, 220. And then we'll have 242. And then we'll hit 271 on the platform at the first. And then from there, if that moves good, jump to like 290-ish. If that moves still, and I feel like I have one more in me, we'll load 303 and let's pray to get that first 300 pound bench on the platform ever. For me, this is still a big milestone. I never got to like do that. Yep. Large loaded for Nabil. Alright 
All right, quick rundown, guys. We're done with bench. Unfortunately, we didn't go as planned. We only got our first attempt. The plan was to take two bench, jump for 271 to 292, which is what I did. I, got, I did 271, 122 kilos, got it. Felt a little like tight on my back. So I was like, hmm, I just made the kilo, the 10 kilo jump to the 292 and scratched third. Felt light in the hands. And by the time I got halfway there, my right side started cramping, my right erector cramped, and then my left one as well. So, so I was like, you know what, bench is fine. We got one bench, which is all matter, we're still in the meet. And now the big deal is the deadlift. So I did everything I could and went to the a person. She did some croppings, uh, we did some mobility. She worked on me, she, did, she, she went with the terror gun. She was like, to just to get everything right and loose for the deadlifts. And now we just have to like relax, talk, try to stay warm and just focus on the pull. So. Okay, it's the most crucial time of the day, most important time of the day. We gotta, we gotta revive ourselves, it's deadlift time. So, PD light, more carbs, and the Q right here. The ketone IQ is gonna put my body into ketosis. It'll be good, so I'm gonna start with these because this is very, that's very bad. That's one. Mm. The one thing about this is that it does not taste good, but it's very, very effective. I'm gonna have a, I don't know, a second wave of like energy, which is what I'm looking for. Oh, that's the energy I need for my dads. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> nice. Walter White. <laughs> More sodium, which is Pedialyte. Hydration. And then, yeah. I'm gonna take one more scoop of Euphoria, and we should be all set. People working every night and day, never give yourself no time, got too many bills to pay. Slow down, nothing's gonna disappear, if you give yourself some room, to move to the music you hear. I fucked up on the platform. Uh, that's 771 right now on the bar. I might do it, but like it doesn't. I was not able to get a single lift on the platform, sadly. 